Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to calculate present value and future value of a lump sum amount very easily using your Casio FX 901 ES scientific calculator. So let's start. Our question is, Mr. Roy will retire from service after 20 years and after retirement he wants to purchase a house worth rupees. 2 million or 20 lakhs. How much money should he invest in bank if bank pays 9% compound interest compounded semi-annually that is twice in a year. So this is our solution. According to the question the principal or P we have to find it out and the amount or A equals to 20 lakhs after maturity and rate of interest is 9% or 9 divided by 100 equals to 0 0.09 and time is 20 years. So we know the present value equals to future value into 1 plus rate of interest divided by calculated times per year or m to the power minus m into t. Mathematically pv or present value equals to fb or future value into 1 plus r rate of interest divided by calculated times per year. So in our case it is 2 times per year or semi annually to the power minus t or time into m which is 20 lakhs into 1 plus 0 0.09 that is our r divided by semi annually or calculated twice in a year to the power minus 2 into years 20 years. So that becomes 3,43,857.4022 rupees. So this is our present value. So Mr. Roy should invest this much money in bank to get 20 lakhs after 20 years. To calculate it using your calculator, enter the amount 20 lakhs into press the left parenthesis 1 plus press the fraction button 0 0.09 divided by 2 press the right parenthesis press this button for 2 the power press minus 20 into m and press the equals to button so it will be 3 lakh 43,857.4022 rupees isn't it easy using our calculator next Future value calculation. Our question is Mr. Smith wants to invest $10,000 in a scheme which will give compound interest at 8% rate compounded quarterly. What will be the future value of his investment after 5 years? So according to the question, the present value is 10,000 and rate it 8% or 8 divided by 100 or 0 0.08 and time is 5 years and the future value we have to calculate. The present value and the future value formula is just same. In present value here is a minus symbol and in future value this is the plus symbol. That is the only difference. So the future value equals to present value into 1 plus r divided by m to the power t into m which is 10,000 into 1 plus 0 0.08 our r divided by calculated quarterly that is 4 times per year into our t is 5 years into m or 4 so which is equal to 14,859.47 rupees. Let's do it using our calculator. You can use the previous template. Just change the values. Ten thousand into one plus point zero eight divided by four five into four and press equals to so which is fourteen thousand and eight fifty nine point forty seven rupees. Remember if the interest is calculated annually that is once in a year then the formula will be r divided by 1 
into t into 1. So that is simply Pv into 1 plus r to the power t. This number denotes times per year. If the interest is calculated every month, then it will be r divided by 12 into t into 12. So friends, this was my video on future value and the present value calculation. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video has helped you, please help me by liking the video and sharing the video. And don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel. By subscribing, you can stay connected with me and get regular updates from me. I will upload more financial calculations videos and business mathematics videos in future. So if you subscribe, you can get notified whenever I upload my next video. So this was the preview of the mode 1 computational mode of this calculator. I have uploaded videos on each of the 8 modes of this calculator. Mode 1 computational mode, mode 2 complex number mode, mode 3 statistics mode, mode 4 number system mode, mode 5 equation solver mode, mode 6 matrix cal calculation mode, mode 7 table generator mode and mode 8 vector calculation mode of this calculator. Also some videos on this fx 82 ms the popular calculator. So if you want to watch any of my previous videos and my upcoming future videos please visit my youtube channel the link is given in the video description also embedded in this video. So thanks for watching see you in my next video and stay connected by subscribing.